Congressional candidate Antonio Sabato Jr. joins us from California to discuss Hollywood's hypocrisy on the NRA and action from actor Antonio Sabato Jr., who is also running for, for Congress. He joins us now from Calabasas, California. We thank you so much for being here. Uh, I want to do We're putting up on the screen, you can't see it, but we're putting up on the screen this picture of uh, George Clooney. Uh, Mr. Clooney has uh, been pretty aggressive about uh, guns and his belief about gun control. Um, right. You think Hollywood's part of the solution here, or is Hollywood part of the problem? No, they're part of the problem. Listen, these are the same people that actually believe that Hillary Clinton was going to become the president and was going to be a good president. She left our people to die in Benghazi. Let's not forget that. These are the same people that went to the Academy Awards the other day, protected by LAPD bodyguards wearing pieces, you know, guns all over the place at the Academy Awards. And then they're making movies on a weekly basis with guns that they want to ban. You know, the NRA has done more to protect the American people than Hollywood could ever do. Um, so. Let, let's talk the truth here and uh, make sure the American people know what's going on here. And I, I think they know that because we elected Donald Trump. He's doing an amazing job. And, uh, and that's why I'm running for office in November. I'm going to win because we've got to bring common sense back into government and into, into uh, our, common, uh, our daily uh, lives. I mean, we can't live with these lies every single day. The media is spilling lies 24 hours a day against our president, against the Republican Party. That's all they do. And this time they're not going to win because the American people have woken up. We want our America so, back, and we got to protect our America and our Constitution. So what, what do you think is Hollywood's responsibility? Should they, I mean, they're entrepreneurs. Do they just profit? I mean, the reason they make movies with guns in it is because Americans go to them, and they pay money to go see them. So is it their right. responsibility, or should we just call out their hypocrisy? What, what, what's the right answer for Hollywood? Well, if they, if they want to talk about gun-free zones and always blame it on the NRA, then hit the but and listen, right now, why don't they make more movies about uh, positive stuff? What about family values? What about God once in a while? What about, you know, uh, the Ten Commandments? What about good stuff, positive stuff, loving, caring stuff? And I'm not talking about the Disney movies. I'm talking about in general. What do we do at TV shows that involves God and the family and sitting down at the table and things like that? You know, I, I urge them to do that. You know, we, we got to come together and talk about the real stuff here. The problems are not the guns. The problems are the people who are pulling the trigger, like what we see in Florida. And, and, the, and then we keep voting these people who are our sheriffs, our, our people in government, who cannot protect the American people. And this happened in Florida. So right now we have to educate people and tell them the truth. Do you think the, uh, you know, the breakdown of the family is, it seems to be a common denominator with a lot of these kids. They, they can't distinguish right from wrong. There may be some mental incompetency, may have a breakdown in the family. Does Hollywood right. believe in any of that? I don't know. Listen, we have so many issues right now. The opioids epidemic, people are addicted, kids are addicted to uh, medicated, you know, medicated stuff. And, and, and that's really bad. I mean, people are not sitting around with their kids anymore talking about what's going on in your life. Can I get to know you? Do you want to get to know me? Um, it's always about computers and phones and this and that and all these distractions. Uh, we had guns in this country for 200 years. And all of a sudden we're having these, these problems happening every single week. Uh, and they always want to blame it on guns. Let's blame it on people. Let's blame it on society. And let's bring love and happiness and family values back into our daily lives. Well, listen, I think you. I think there are a lot of kids out there that can't distinguish uh, right from wrong. It's like, a, it's like a puddle of gasoline, and then they sit right. 15 hours and watch a video game or go watch a violent movie, and it's like throwing a match on that gasoline and, and kaboom. And, uh, and they're uh, left alone. I mean, th these kids are left alone. Um, there's no more communication between the teachers and the parents anymore. Uh, parents cannot walk into a school and, and, and you know and, and talk about their issues and with the school itself. Um, all these regulations and this and that. So we're not really free anymore. They want to hold us hostage, and uh, you know we don't have Bibles in schools anymore. They wanted to take our American anthem away. Uh, we don't respect the flag. You know, I'm fighting for what is right, and we gotta you know we gotta fight for the flag, and we gotta fight for this country. We have 26 beautiful amendments. We gotta keep them there. One of them is a Second Amendment. And Antonio Sabato Jr. from California, we thank you for joining us. Thank you guys, thank you. Democrat